Hi, this is Chris Wall at The Wall Network, and today I'm going to go over Multi-NIC vMotion, uh, specifically how to create it and what it should look like when it's operational so you can verify everything's good to go. So what I have in front of you is a, uh, a look into the vSphere client in my home lab. Specifically, we're looking at my LAN distributed switch. And on the LAN distributed switch, I have two port groups. One is vMotion A-253. The 253 just denotes what VLAN I'm using for that port group. It's my own little way of knowing that. And a vMotion B-253 port group. The only thing that's really unique about these two port groups is if I edit the settings, you'll notice the teaming policy on the A port group. I've got the uplink 1 is active and uplink 2 is unused. And then if we go into the vMotion B port group, it's just the opposite. I've got uplink 2 active and uplink 1 unused. Now the reason I do that is uh, I don't want, if there's a failure on uplink 1 or 2, I don't want a standby uplink to take its place uh, because in that case, uh, let's say uplink 1 fails, that means that uplink 2 will be used for both port groups potentially. Uh, and I don't want to run two vMotion streams on the same uplink. I don't really see value in that. So I go ahead and set the other uplinks unused. I just pick one specific uplink. And for for this example here, if uplink 2 fails, it just won't use vMotion uh, B thread. It just will be offline. Uh, I had another a person ask me a question, do you need jumbo frames? So I'll tell you, uh, you don't need jumbo frames to work. You'll see, I'll, I'll open up my distributed switch here. I do have jumbo frames enabled. Uh, and that's just the fact that the MTU is set larger than 1500. In this case, I've got it set to the max, which is 9000. So the switch is capable of handling jumbo frames. Uh, but if I change gears here and go into the host, and I'm just, uh, this is my lab, I've got the ESX0 host selected. So let's go into the configuration on the host and we'll see uh, how that's configured and, and kind of dispel this jumbo frames thing. Uh, so let me scroll down to the vMotion 253 here, and you'll see. It really loves to jump around this. Thing's a little goofy. Um, VM kernel 1 is on port group A, and VM kernel 6 is on port group B. It's just the numbers that decided to choose. So let me manage those adapters. We'll see. Here's 1. The MTU is still set to 1500 on the VM kernel port, so it's it's not using jumbos for this particular port group. Can you use them? Absolutely. I just decided not to, uh, to show you that it's not required. Uh, so from the configuration standpoint on the host, you'll need to build out two VM kernels, both of them will need vMotion enabled. And as you can see here, I'm using the same subnet. So 10.0.253.50 is VM kernel 1 on port group A. And 10.0.253.150 is being used on VM kernel 6, which is port group B. So that, that's really the only thing that's, that's unique about the two kernels is different IPs. So that's pretty much it. When you get done, if you click on it, you notice if I click on A, this little gold line uh, traces itself up to uplink 1. And if I click on B, the uplink uh, selected is 2. So I know that they're uh, air-gapped uh, or isolated so that there's no, uh, there's no chance that a, the A port group will use uplink 2. We don't want that. So I'll go ahead and find a virtual machine in here. Uh, in fact, I've got a desktop running in here called GNS3. It's a little, little machine with 2 gigs of RAM. Um, so before I move it over, I'm going to show you ESX Top is running. Uh, I'm, I'm actually tied to the host ESX0 up here. And here's VM kernel 1 and 6. I've got the blue highlighter set to VM kernel 1. But if we vMotion this virtual machine off the host, we should see activity on both VM kernel 1 and 6. So let's start off that little uh, migration wizard and see what happens. So let me move this so you can see it a little easier here. There we go. So I'm going to change the host of this virtual machine to host 1. Doesn't really matter. Anything in the cluster will work. Uh, the default resource pool is fine. I'll click that and finish. Switch over to ESX Top, and it's already chugging away. Uh, moving this virtual machine over, you can see uh, right there 743 megabits and 783 megabits on the other uh, connection. So it's it's definitely exceeding uh, the value of one one gigabit link. Uh, so that's truly the power of the multi NIC vMotion. Is you can you know I've got one gigabit links here. It's almost getting a full two gigabits to move over the virtual machine and as you can see we're at to zero because it's already moved over it's actually quite quick so if i go to esx1 there it is it's moved over and we can we can watch the reverse as well i'll migrate this the other way oh let me fit this to the screen real quick so if i changed host back to esx0 
Uh, and, and this is this is normal. This guest OS heartbeats error when you first move it over, the heartbeats just aren't being received in a in a long enough duration to uh, count as being received. So don't worry about that when you first move something over. That's that's normal. So we'll move this back, and I'll finish. We'll open up ESX top. We should see on the receive end a lot of traffic coming over here. So there it goes. It's kicking off the receive traffic uh, of the virtual machine coming from one host one back to host zero. And should complete pretty quickly. Uh, there we go. It's pretty much already done. We can verify that because there's the GNS3 virtual machine. I'll, I'll scroll the highlighter down to it. It already exists on this host, and it moved over lightning quick. So there you go. That's how you configure uh, and a demonstration of multi-NIC vMotion. Thank you for watching this video. If you found the information valuable, make sure to click the like button. And if you'd like to see more videos on my channel, please become a subscriber. For more articles on technical solutions and home lab building, achieving certifications, and so on, head on over to wallnetwork.com. Thank you.